everyone, it's me Ice and I'm <sighs> just at home looking at some stuff that I have under my bed that I never really looked at in such a long time. Uh, I was, you know, as a guitarist, you know, and someone who writes their own songs, I try to gather as much inspiration as I can, uh, regardless of the genre, because I feel like sound is a very universal thing, and I'm inspired by so many things. Not only like music, but also being outside and you know, being around nature. It helps me a lot in my songwriting process. But of course, you guys know uh, I have new songs coming, and I wanted to look back on some of the stuff that I had for so long that I haven't even picked up or looked at. I looked at albums that I have, that I have a stack of right like right here, that meant the world to me, and autographed possessions that I have, that I completely forgot that I own, and I was shocked to find a lot of things that were signed, even, I'll show you in a second, but it just touched my heart. So let's just go and start this video. Okay, so first I'm going to start something a little strange. Uh, a while back, I was so, I mean, I still do, I, w I was a fan of All That Remains, still am. Uh, I've been watching them, but of course I just, re you know, I'm not as, you know, when you're young, you're like up in the front and then like maybe you mosh or whatever, like, I used to be that person, except I don't mosh, I'm too soft, okay, it's just like, you know, I'm softy. I'm just not like that anymore, I'm the type to be at the bar. But here's a little fact. So I went to the All Their Remains show. I went to like all their shows. Every time they hit the Bay Area, I went. Little fact. When they were on tour with Light This City, they are back by the way, which is awesome. In this bag, which is so, I'm probably, you guys are probably gonna think I'm gross. Right here, this white t-shirt was, Laura signed it after her set. And um, I also have the drumstick that I believe the uh, the drum for all the remains he threw in the crown that caught it out of everybody because I was tall thank God thank you dad this water bottle right here Jeannie former bassist from all the remains gave it to me because I was I was thirsty this boy drank it and then I said can I have that after you and he handed it to me and I kept it which is I know gross but hey I love Jeannie she moved on. She's doing great things and she's wonderful. I had the pleasure of meeting her a couple times and having a conversation with her outside of, um, you know, the show. Uh, what's next is this clinic that I went to for Paul Gilbert at Guitar Center, which I went to. He, uh, I was able to meet him. I can't find the autograph thing. Where is it? But he autographed. Uh, a piece, uh, a piece of paper, and I got. I was talking to him about things, and he's so tall and he's so beautiful. That was such a good class, and I learned so much from Paul Gilbert that day. A lot of people were there, and it was just such a cool experience. Uh, my photo with him was really awkward. I lost the photo, which sucks, because I had an old phone. I didn't transfer it over. So next, I went to all the mayhem's that happened, and of course, it's no longer a thing, which sucks. So. I had an autograph from the members of Amon Amarth, right here, which is so cool. Completely forgot I owned it. Yeah. Too much on my mind. How sad. I have the one from Battlecross. They are so awesome. And last and never least, in my mind, body, heart, and stuff, that's like, <sighs> job for a cowboy. Oh my god. I am so madly in love with Job for a Cowboy. Like, I bothered Nick. I don't want to bother Nick, but I told him, like, hey, what's going on, Job for a Cowboy? Like, I love Havoc, but how's Job for a Cowboy? Like, I miss you. Like, we all fucking miss Job for a Cowboy. Oh, man. Every time I think, talk of, like, I feel like I want to have a orgasm. Like, <laughs> I just love them so fucking much. Just look at this photo. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at them. Oh, my God. <laughs> want to get pregnant and so now we're moving on to CDs right here Philadelphia Lamb of God great DVD awesome I enjoyed it my friend 
well, I don't know, for friends. He gave this to me, and I don't know where he is now, but I really want to tell him thank you. He was the best, he was one of my best friends in my life. Like, he was a metalhead, Pantera, back in the day, headbangers, ball kind of guy. He was an older gentleman, but I miss him so much. I don't know where he is, but he really helped me through tough times, and I lost my friend, and he, he he's not, he's alive, but I just don't know where he is. We lost communication, and, you know, Growing up, it's really hard to find a connection with people, and I think even till today, it's really hard for me to find like a friend that I could just leave the house and go to. I don't have that, um, but he was that person, and I I cried a lot. Oh God, I want to get emotional, but I I miss him. He was one of like my metal friends, and I don't think I have that right now in my life. Like I don't have that person where I could just like leave out the house, go to the bar, go to a show with. I mean, I think I think I do though. I have you know one of my friends. Like we're cool, but. No, we are cool, but this guy was in there. He he saw Pantera. He saw like you know Testament back in the day. He saw all these awesome bands like you know. I think he mentioned that he saw like of course he saw Slayer and all those. What oh God, I can't remember, but all those bands back in the day, all the cool ones. He was there. He was fucking there. He's like Big Papa. He's like uh, he's been there. Okay. I love him, I miss him. Wherever you are, please come back. Well, it is what it is, I guess. So anyway, G3 tour. John Petrucci, Steve Vai, and Joe Cetriani. I saw this on YouTube. I was so inspired. Once that DVD on YouTube was done, which they like bootleg onto YouTube, I left the house, went to Rasputin, and bought it. And Rasputin is gone where I am, which sucks. I have to go all the way to Berkeley to get it. But I mean, I don't have to. I got this at Rasputin. I miss Rasputin. I, there's like no music stores in the Bay Area anymore. It's like ridiculous. So um, yeah, but that DVD was awesome. John Petrucci was so cool. And I also met him at Guitar Center when he had a, he was playing for everyone doing like a clinic. It was so awesome. He was so cool. He gave tips and he had like a live performance he was fucking awesome like it was just like I can't like it's hard to describe it was like all the advice he gave me like which I asked John Petrucci what book did you use to learn more chords because I think I'm still struggling with chords at the moment because I'm so caught up with writing and all that there's so much going on so he offered, he told me what the book was, which I'll link in the description box, and boy, those are some advanced chords, and I saw the instructor who did it online, he is a pro, and it takes a lot of concentration, discipline, and a lot of, you know, cons consistent practicing, and best advice he ever gave, and John Petrucci is so awesome, and I love him, and I'm so glad I got to meet him, and he signed a poster for me, which is in my stuff somewhere. I have, oh, Paul Gilbert. Right here, he signed it. Let me see that. Right here, I met jo Joe Cetriani at Borders Bookstore in San Francisco back in the day. I waited in line just like everyone else. And I asked Joe Cetriani, because I had stage fright back in the day. I wasn't good like I am now, in my opinion. But he said that when it comes to performing, you want to start out small. Play in front of your friends, play in front of your family. And once you keep doing it, you'll get used to playing in big crowds. So I want to thank Joe for that awesome, awesome advice. Helping the young, the young little ice that I was. So inspired, still inspired, and this was such a treasure. It was so beautiful meeting him. Next, I have some albums. Uh, I got Arch Enemy when Angela was around. Love Angela, by the way. She's my favorite. She's my queen. Yes, Angela. Yes. Come through with the slage. I love her. That's my girl. That's my homie. I would love to collaborate with Angela. Angela, we're going to work together one day. Okay? All right? Cool? All right. So, for my next round of CDs. So, Arch Enemy, I just adore. Like, I love... I love them. Uh, I think Alisa, oh, I kind of got that wrong, uh, is doing a great job. I remember Arch Enemy during my high school days. Uh, 
I remember some, uh, there was very extreme few metalhead people in my school. And I was getting into it, and I do recall Arch Enemy, and yeah, they were like what the guitar players that was around wanted to, you know, Michael and Christopher were, were incredible. They were, you know, yes, they're brothers, but shit. They were like the duo. And um, Christopher is great. I think you guys really need to look at Chris. Chris, I mean, Michael's doing awesome. Like, I have, like, I just want to be clear, I have no, nothing against anyone. But once I saw Christopher on the Live Japan DVD, I was just like, holy crap, like, whoa. Huh, like, he's really, f he's damn good, like, shit. He's really fucking good. So, yeah, that's where I stand with it. <laughs> Next, we have Jeff Lumius, and he's a part, Jeff Lumius is with Arch Enemy, by the way. So, I got Jeff, Jeff Lumius's, like, uh, Zero Order Fit. I, this was his, like, first in instrumental album. I picked it up to support and I was obsessed with Jeff. Still am. Love him. And yeah, and I also, of course, like my old video, I follow, you know, Keith Marrow and Wes. You know, that whole awesome crew of, you know, shredders. I watched Keith's uh, YouTube channel and of course you could see Jeff there as well. I fucking love Wes. Like, seriously. I know that this is just going to a strange direction, but I just want to make it clear, like, I, like, oh, okay, all right, I know I made it very clear that I love Brandon Ellis, I really find, oh my god, he is just so awesome, like, I can't, I'm, like, obsessed, like, I just love him, and then Wes, when I met him at NAMM, God, I just wanted to jump on him, like, no, in a fan way, like, nothing else, no, non-creeper way, but I, I think I scared the shit out of Wes. He was like, whoa, who's this chick? She, whoa, like, he was on his way somewhere with his, like, you know, I guess his manager or a group of, like, serious people, like, it was like, I was like, oh, like, when he was walking, I was like, holy shit, I said, oh my god, Wes, I love you, and he was like, like, whoa, who, who's this, like, Sasquatch, I mean, but, I love Wes, like, damn, damn, like, he, when he plays, it's no game, it's not a fucking game, when Wes plays, it's serious, like, it's not a joke, like, he's everything I want to be, like, I don't, I just can't find the words, like, he's so awesome. <sighs> I just can't. Now I'm wheezing. My next album I want to talk about is I have a Jason Becker album, which is so cool. Love Jason Becker. I love his clinic. It's on YouTube. You can't miss that. His clinics are so awesome. He got me in the sweet picking. Okay. Him and Jeff Lumia's got me in the sweet picking. Although my sweet picking isn't there yet. Adore. Adore. And I have Black Sabbath, Mob Rules. This is when the one with Dio, I believe. I got this at, uh, uh, unfortunately, that metal shop at the Hate Street shut down, which sucked, because that was the only metal shop in San Francisco like a couple years back. Now it's gone. If anyone in the Bay Area knows a metal shop, please let me know please because I'm here to support and it sucks like sh sh like you can't even find any metal shops anymore you gotta f travel far you know I have this album from Dio this album is incredible like every track masters of the moon this ma this album is magic this is such a great album god it's so inspiring too Dio has a wonderful voice and it's just, he's so epic. And it's just, it sucks that he's not here. It just sucks. It's terrible. It's just a tragedy he's not here. He should be here. He's fucking incredible. Like his, oh, the notes he hits, like, man, he's just magic. He's just, you can't find that, you know? He is, he's special, like he's one of a kind. Like that scene where Jack Black was in his room <laughs> and then Dio was talking to him through the poster. Like that's how magical Dio is. Like 
<sighs> anyway, this album, Soul of the Black and Testament, which I have. Man, Testament, like, I must not have to say this. I know back then, like, you know how, I don't want to say if it's a power battle, like, when they have slow songs, like, Testament slow songs are just beautiful. Like, you can't forget that. Like, man. I, I mean, when, I don't even know what to say. It's just so beautiful and stunning. It's like poetry to me. Oh, Lord. This is... Okay. Alright. So, I have two Joe Satriani, Joe Satriani albums. He inspired me, by the way. Let me say this. I said this before. Joe Satriani and Steve Vai and Jennifer Batten were the reasons why I continue to shred. And Tony Iommi, by the way. Tony Iommi inspired me as a person, as a guitar player, and he makes me want to write better songs. Tony Iommi made me feel secure in who I am when I was... I was getting comments about a while back when I was starting on, you know, doing my thing and playing guitar videos about why I'm not, you know, head banging and why don't you do this why don't you do that I'm like I don't want to that's just not how I express myself and that's not how I am and I kind of felt it kind of hurt me a little bit um you know I was young I didn't understand I was develop you know developing and understanding who I am and when I watched Tony Iommi he didn't do all that. He didn't have the head bang. He just, he let the playing speak for itself. And that's it, that's who I, that's, that's what's up. Like, I play guitar, that's it, that is it. Like, not, I'm not here to put on, like, for me, like, I'm not here to, you know, hey, look at me, oh, you know, I just, I am so not even like that. Like, I am, and I love being in the studio. I love writing, I love, creating, I love guitars, I, you know, I love instruments, I love sounds, I love experimenting, I love sharing my ideas. Creating is my thing, and to, and that that's just purely it. I, I like to create and write. That's it. And eat. I have to talk about the last two albums, but I want to show you this vinyl I have from Wrath, from Lamb of God. Love that. Oh my God, Lamb of God shaped my childhood. I love them. I met Randy one time. I spoke 90 miles, no, 100 miles per hour. He just stared at me and I was like, I, I love you. And I hugged him so tight. I had a crush on Randy Blythe. Fact. These two albums are my heart. Black Dolly and Murder Nocturnal album was the, the album that I found out about the Black Dolly and Murder. And ever since I've been hooked with the Black Dolly Murder, saw them this year blew my fucking mind, blew me away. I am forever committed in love and married to the Black Dahlia murder. Ain't nothing gonna change that, like nothing. I told Trevor when I met him after his set, he was just walking around. He, like, wow, you are so cool for walking around. He, I told him about the Nocturnal album changed my life and he was so nice and we took a picture, which I will insert somewhere. Hopefully he's video. Of course, follow me on Instagram and you'll see it there. And last and never least, Book of Shadows. This album makes me want to write acoustic album. So where was I? Oh yeah, so this album, Zap Wild's Book of Shadow album, is incredible. Every track just touches my soul. Just the simplicity of just him and a guitar and writing these beautiful songs it just makes me I even I remember my friend David he told me I saw you're gonna create acoustic album I was like huh because I have written acoustic songs which you guys hopefully have heard in my channel I mean you never know I'm not gonna say no I'm not gonna say you know I'm just gonna you never know I loved his stuff back in the day where he has a video of him at the park playing guitar. Who does that nowadays? Not a lot of people. And I just know, that, I mean, there's just a beauty in just you and your guitar. And if you could sing, that's even better. There's just such a beauty in that. And 
truth. And I think Zach Wilde has that. And he's incredible in my opinion. And I hope to meet him someday. He's so cool, by the way. Yeah, I mean, that the Book of Shadows album is incredible. And his song, Rust. Oh, my God. Damn, that's a good song. So anyway, yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. And I just wanted to share some of my items that I have that I've been keeping under my bed that I haven't seen for a while and these items mean the world to me and the artists that I showed here have inspired me growing up and I had the honor of meeting them and yeah I'm very very happy to have met these incredible people and they are so kind and so beautiful and I hope it doesn't end from there and I hope to meet them again and again and again and again and hopefully I can be at a point where I can play festivals and meet them again and hang with them because they're so cool. So that's it for me and I love Jot for a Cowboy by the way. So yeah I just want to let you guys know that please if you have a moment right now please subscribe to my channel like the video comment so subscribe follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook. I also, um, if you, and also side note, if you follow my Instagram, I got a custom made strap from LK Straps from New York City and they are coming in. I will try to insert a picture of it somewhere in this video. And if you can, please follow me on Instagram. Like I said, I always update there every day. And sometimes I do a little follow me around on Sundays or on the weekend. And I cannot thank you enough guys for my new subscribers. You guys are just so awesome. I want this channel to be somewhere where you can hang out, kick it, and play guitar and talk music and have fun. I, um, yeah, I just like music I am not as you know a lot of my subscribers are really really talented and awesome and they know so much and I learn from you guys I hope you understand that I learned so much from you and I just love being able to communicate with you guys and you guys give excellent advice and I just you guys make this worthwhile and you guys have been nothing but supportive and I am appreciate thank you for just allowing me to grow and get better at my craft and having an understanding about the changes that I've been going through and even on even like during my ups and downs like you just guys have been so accepting understanding and knowing where I knowing how it feels and just trying to be a better person and an artist and a songwriter and I wish I could hug you. I want to hug you guys so badly because words cannot add up to how much you guys mean to me and I just truly just love you from the bottom of my heart and I just really do and I want to thank you and you know, we remember like in the beginning, I said once you go past 400 subscribers, we're now down to like, f well, up to 447 subscribers. Like, that's insane. Like, I don't know what happened or how it happened, but I am grateful. And I can't thank you. And I love you. I wish you could understand that. I just feel like words are just failing to really show physically how much you mean to me. Like, I just want to hug you so badly and I love you there's no other way to say it it's just that I love you thank you for being with me thank you for listening to me thank you for watching my guitar videos thank you for just thank you for just you know existing and being here and communicating with me and yes I will show you the guitar strap that I have uh, the rattlesnake cables are bomb as hell and um I've been enjoying it I will try to I will definitely show you guys a video that I made a couple days ago of me playing it on a I wrote a metal lick and it was wow the clarity on that thing was no joke I like I said I'm still like working at it but damn it's from really serious cables and I also have something major coming in the mail this week which I will show you guys in a 
this coming week. I am so stoked and so happy that it's coming. This is exactly what I wanted. And yes, it's guitar related and it's gonna, it's major, like breaking news major. And it's coming in the mail. It's on its way soon this week. And this is, com this is completely new for me as a player. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, okay? All right, bye.